I'm regional media film critic Sean Patrick with a review of Approaching the Unknown, starring Mark Strong. Usually this would be the place where I'd play a clip from the movie, but, uh, well, the studio didn't provide an electronic press kit for this one, so I don't have a clip from Approaching the Unknown. So I'll just tell you that Mark Strong plays an astronaut who is based with a trip to Mars, a solo trip to Mars, this after he has cured drought. I kid you not, he's actually turned dirt into water. He went out into the desert, uh, created this machine to take with him, took dirt, turned it into water, and survived for a day or so in the desert. Uh, then he came back and was then uh, put on a mission to Mars to, uh, well, create water there and try and colonize the place. Of course, he doesn't plan on coming back. Uh, they, everybody knows he's not coming back. He's going to Mars to live. That is where his new home. He's going to be followed there by another astronaut played by Sanaa Lathan, but, well, I won't tell you how the story plays out. Uh, The story is uh, kind of like The Martian. It's been getting a lot of comparisons to that. It's uh, one astronaut by himself in space, pondering void, and this film is nearly as smart or fun as The Martian. This film is, in fact, extraordinarily depressing. It takes forever to get going, and even... The moment it starts to get going, when a story starts to develop about the challenge that he faces trying to get to Mars and whether or not his machine that creates water will work, uh, it gets just really super depressing. Uh, And whether or not he makes it to Mars, again, i got to leave that to uh, spoilers. But the bottom line is, I mean, you can probably tell from me calling it depressing uh, just where this movie is going. It is actually bleak and uh, not a fun watch. And, uh, and I know it's not intended to be fun. It's intended to be dramatic and a little scary uh, and really you know, pondering the void and life and loneliness and whatnot. But I gotta say, I just found this film to be so boring and so bleak that I can't recommend it. Even as Mark Strong is very believable and convincing, the direction from a first-time director is solid enough on a low budget, creating a, uh, effects that look like a real spaceship and a, a real uh, well, a rocket, whatever you want to call it, a, uh, a rocket to Mars. It's believable enough. <laughs> um, that's fine. That's all good. But the movie itself is just far too bleak and and uh, quiet and uh, dull at times. I, I might have nodded off for a couple minutes, honestly. Approaching the Void is not a bad movie by any stretch, it's just not a very good movie, and it's available now on uh, on-demand services and in uh, some theaters nationwide, but uh, I don't recommend it. I'm Sean Patrick.